In less than 24 hours, Rhode Island's homeless community will be able to take shelter inside of Providence's Cranston Street Armory. This comes as the state continues working to help those camped out at the State House who declined the shelter. New tonight, the governor is calling on the Rhode Island Coalition to End Homelessness to provide information on where additional homeless encampments are located. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie has been working the story. She joins us now live from outside the Cranston Street Armory shelter. Alex? Well, Kim, the final preparations were underway here today. We saw a few National Guard members here, and as we mentioned, they have been tasked with temporarily assisting here. Meantime, still the vendor that will be under contract to officially run the armory still has not been publicly disclosed yet. As a homeless encampment remains outside the Rhode Island State House, Governor Dan McKee says he's also trying to track down other encampments across the state. We're going to try to continue to ask the coalition where the 80 encampments are because they have not given that information to us. We need that. Governor McKee is referring to the Rhode Island Coalition to End Homelessness. Chief Strategy Officer Jen Barrera says the coalition only collects regions where the camps are, not specific addresses. The privacy and security of people experiencing homelessness is paramount. Barrera says a street outreach team and providers work directly with those in the encampments, an extremely vulnerable population. We want to make sure to prevent folks from any physical harm. We want to prevent their encampments from uh, being uh, requested to be removed or, or vacated or from any other property from being damaged or stolen. The governor also noted DCYF's acting director sent a letter to the coalition with concerns about reports of parents and children living in encampments around the state. That's an obligation that we all have to make sure that, they, that any young people as well you know, are really serviced and that we provide warm shelter for them. The coalition says it has always collaborated with the department and other agencies. Our goal is to make sure that every family, including their children, have their resources available. Um, so, and we we do have you know protocols in place to connect folks with uh, any resources they may need. Now, when we went inside the armory yesterday, we were told there were about 50 cots inside. We saw the cots in a ballroom. We also saw other spaces for medical care and space to, root, uh, to eat and to gather as well. Now, this will open on the same day that a court, uh, the, the case in court resumes on Superior Court. Uh, it is the uh, case against Governor McKee, who tried to evict homeless individuals from the State House. That will again resume in court tomorrow morning. And Alex, is there a time set for this to open yet? As of this report, there is no official opening time, but we do know that the court case is slated to resume at 1130 in the morning. Members of the McKee administration have attended the hearings, but not the governor himself. It's not clear if he will be attending tomorrow. All right, Alexandra Leslie live for us in Providence. Alex, thank you.